Hello everyone, Joe Larson here with EXP Realty and we're here in Orange Park, Florida. We're checking out a property. We're going to preview another property today and it's another edition of our virtual reality uh, property preview. We're here at 2662 Country Club Boulevard here in Orange Park. A beautiful gated community. I'm just going to hold the camera because it's a little windy today. I'll be close by it. So hopefully you can hear me okay and hopefully the stabilization is good. But um, an exceptional house here. We've got uh, over 2,700 square feet. It's a three bedroom, three full baths. You do have an office flex room uh, that you can use as a non-conforming uh, fourth bedroom. Uh, roof is 2015 and uh, the house was built in 1998. Uh, HVAC is only a couple of years old as well. As you're viewing this property, uh, viewing the tour, you guys can, if you're on a mobile device, you can move your mobile device up and down or left or right, or uh, take your finger and swipe the screen, um, and you can do a 360 degree uh, vantage point. If you're on your laptop, just use your mouse and move it around. So beautiful neighborhood, wait for this car to pass. What's great is that the lot sizes are uh, very generous. You know, you're on a, a very good lot size. Um, I don't know the exact lot size on this one, but uh, if I had to guess, it's probably 75, 80, 85 feet frontage. Let's go check out the house. It is gonna be a Coquina style uh, siding. So you've got the uh, shells and then the cementus uh, siding, which is very nice. Three car garage, which is a side entry garage. So aesthetically, when you're looking from the road, the house looks great. You got the gutters all the way around, architectural shingle roof, the nice pavers coming up to the formal uh, front door. Let's check out the inside. So all the way around, let's come into the living room. You do have a formal foyer. And this main living room is a good size. You've got three sliding glass doors that actually slide all the way to the right where they're hidden behind the wall. So you've got a beautiful view of the outdoor space as well. The outdoor space is screened in. You've got a very nice pool. Uh, this is hardwood floor that I'm standing on. And then the living room uh, is carpeted as well. Dining room is to our left. We'll go ahead and check that out. But the ceilings are very tall, uh, knockdown ceiling. Um, you've got the higher end uh, crown molding, which is very nice. Tall baseboards. Let's check out the dining room. So here in the dining room, this is a very large room. Nice decorative niche, so it's plenty of space to put the, uh, the buffet, armoire, um, display your fine dining wear. You've got tray ceiling, plantation shutters, tall ceilings, chair rail wainscoting around the dining room, which is very nice. Very elegant, very luxury feel to the room. Coming back to the west end of the house, we've got guest bedroom number one. And these bedrooms are a good size. You know, this is a, a full size bed and you still have plenty of space for your nightstands and dresser. You know, a lot of times with these room sizes, you just have enough space to put the, the nightstands and the dresser is like right here, so you're cramped. But this room here is a good size. And again, plantation shutters on the windows, which is a good touch. Ceiling is tall, nice updated fan. Check out guest bathroom number one. I'm going to open up the shower curtain for you. 
So bath and tub combo, it is tiled, which is nice, clean, white tile. Got the uh, tall vanity with the double sinks, which is nice. Very convenient, if, especially if you have family with lots of kids and they're not fighting or arguing over which sink to use. This is bedroom number two. Currently, this is just the spare bedroom as it's currently functioning right now. But twin bed, again, plantation shutters on the front window, tall ceiling. Carpet is a low profile carpet, so it's an updated, more premium quality. I'll show you guys the closet. Good size. So that closet probably goes to about right here. We got a linen closet, and then we'll check out the utility room where all the laundry is being done. What's great is you got a utility sink, all right? So for those rough stains, go ahead and take care of all that here. Currently, the washer and dryer are stackable, but you can put them side by side and still have plenty of space in here. We'll check out the three car garage. Plenty of space in here. The cars, nor the golf cart, come with the house. But you got plenty of attic space up there. This does come down. You've got the ladder and then boards all up on uh, the trusses there so you can uh, walk across and store and have additional storage. So, But almost 2,800 square feet this house is. You should have plenty of storage no matter what section of the house you're in. Okay, let's check out the master bedroom. I'll save the best space for last, which is the kitchen and the pool. So let's check out the master bedroom and the office space. Here's the office space. This is a good size room in here. Got the French doors. And this doesn't have a closet, so it's non-conforming uh, fourth bedroom, but if you needed that space, you certainly had that space. Let's go check out the bathroom, second bathroom. This actually has a door that goes out to the pool area, which is lovely. Pedestal sink, wainscoting. Very nice, gives you that really coastal, beachy feel, especially the color. Really nice in here. And then we'll check out the walk-in shower. So if you got young kids, the bathtub, you can use the bathtub in the other, uh, in the other bathroom. Let's check out the master bedroom. Pink size bed in here. They have the sliding glass doors that go out to the space. If you can see through the blinds, they've got two waterfalls coming out to the pool. So it's just a really nice setting. So when you're in here in the evening time uh, reading your book, you can open up the door, listen to the sound of the waterfall. Just a very soothing, romantic scene. Tray ceiling. Let's check out the master bathroom. Master bath has been updated. The tile has been updated. The glass has been updated. I like the oil bronze finishes as well. They repurposed the vanity to give it this, this uh, sort of like a, a really beachy vintage look. I think it came out Wonderful. And behind door number one is the toilet. It's a newer toilet. I'll show you guys the shower. 
So that way you just have an idea. You do have two niches here, which is good. And the garden tub, which also has a shower sprayer as well. Closets are his and her closets. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. But it's a good size. This is more of a step in, whereas the other closet is... You can certainly step in it. I'll show you guys that one as well. Tall ceiling. Both comparable in size. I think probably her closet might be... I'll give her the edge. Alright, let's go check out the... kitchen. And... The living room, family room combination. You do have a breakfast nook in here. This kitchen is huge, completely updated. All the cabinets uh, and drawers, nice double basin sink, stainless steel appliances, the French door fridge. The doors are full overlay. These are custom cabinets. And the drawers come all the way out. And they are soft clothes. Actually, just trying to see what the brand was. But these are solid wood, the dovetail which is very nice. And so you got a pantry. Whoop. Walked on the bench there. But uh, you got a pantry over here, which is a good space. More than adequate for a large family. And then you got another pantry over here. Kitchen Island is great, so you could, you got the breakfast bar if you didn't want to use the table at the breakfast uh, nook. Here is the family room, gas, fireplace, yes it does work, again plantation shutters on the windows, this time you got the vaulted ceiling, which is very nice, I like the fact that it is flat and center at the top where the fan is installed. So it is center on the room. You do have carpet in here, which is nice. And let's check outside. All paved back here. These doors do open up all the way. And you can see that. They go all the way to the edge of the wall. So that way in the spring and summer months, you can open up this set of doors as well as that set of doors and just really bring the outdoor space inside. I'll place the camera over here and then I'll position it over there so you can have a better look. Fire pit area. Pool is a good space. You got a platform, so if you got young kids, this is great to just kind of lay or have the kids play on the platform with their toys. You've got a seating ledge inside the pool all the way around. Nice tile, and it's screened in, which is great. Also, one thing to mention about the pool is that it is solar heated as well. We'll get a quick view. We are in a country club, so we are actually positioned right in front of one of the tea boxes. I keep wanting to trip. Can't walk today. Beautiful day, it's chilly here today. It's like 50 degrees, but it was 35 degrees this morning. Come up, 
Get over here to the tee box. Looks like a uh, par five, maybe. Hopefully that sun is not too blinding and you have a pretty good view of the house. Thanks so much for watching. And if you guys have any questions, all my contact information is below in the description. And until next time, have a great day. And we'll see you guys next time. Take care.